Hey y'all, it's Michael, and this is a vlog review of the next short story collection that I'll be reading, and that's Some Trick by Helen DeWitt. What I'll do is after each and every single short story, I'll let you guys know what I think about it, and then at the end, I'll do a collective um, overall thoughts. So yeah, let's go! I just finished reading the first short story called Bruto. There's actually a poem that is like part of the a prologue um it's about the wizard of oz i was like oh that's interesting the first short story left a real like i wouldn't say negative but it left an impression on me that's for sure because first off this writing her writing style i could just tell it's not for uh every reader <laughs> it's kind of like broken up thoughts like come mush together throwing a lot of things and seeing what sticks that's what it felt like for me anyway an artist with an art dealer and the way that it's told it's just it it you know what i think this is one of those writing styles i don't know because this is my first i've ever encountered with the wit it feels as though it's one of those it's more of a feeling than the actual plot story and character type of writing that she is presenting so we will see what happens I, I just finished reading the short story my heart belongs to bertie this was weird <laughs> all of these stories i feel like are gonna be like strange if anything uh so this one is about um peter who is a okay there's a lot going on. a mathematician uh, <laughs> who wrote a story like a children's story involving like math and then it's him meeting up with his um editor uh jim who basically is talking to him about writing his second um his second book now the footnote states how dewitt came up with this idea of the story because she wanted to include this program called r that deals with math and how like it runs um mathematical problems now so as a reader i really don't like math in fiction okay so hear me out i don't really like to read about math like in fiction is that weird i feel like that's one of my like <laughs> weird uh reading things but it's such a turn off for me like it's such a turn off hear me out while i don't like math and fiction i understood what it was actually saying in regards to the mathematical like probability equations is in here i was like oh okay like i didn't quite understand um, more of the nuance and i say that because at some point when it starts um more of the complicating parts of it, it looked like the actual program code for the program um r and so that was the part that confused me but the result wise that I understood. I was like, oh, okay, I get this. And like the way it plays with probability. Okay, I, I can already tell. Talking about these uh, stories on here is going to be an experience, if anything. So this might be a collection of stories where it's not exactly like really story and character heavy. It's about the art of writing and presenting something more than just beyond your normal narrative um and so in that way i am really enjoying it so because it's since i'm reading a lot of stories right now where the it's just like a straight on narrative this is actually really refreshing i love experimental writing in um books i personally think that if you as an author is going to write different from your normal narrative structure type of story it has there has to be like something je ne sais quoi about it like it has to be special enough all right i just finished reading the short story on the town this one was actually so 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 funny it is about this guy well it's a lot about things but it's about this guy named gil who basically moves to um new york and we follow him along as he gets into these little like misadventures and it's one of those things where it's like people have this people have like misconceptions about new york and whatnot and it just it was so humorous there were these parts where dewitt would insert footnotes and then it's about like these little nuanced funny moments it it was really i think one word for me anyways reading it was uh joyous i thought i just it just made me like smile and laugh because of just all the crazy things that were um happening her ideas and the way that she integrates these like programs like the way excel and powerpoint and word and um those other programs like those math ones like the r program and i was just like this this is it's like reading it's like experiencing someone's 
mind and the way that it works and just uh, I'm really liking it so far. I'm enjoying it. All right, I just finished reading the short story on here called Remember Me. Um, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So one thing that I have always strived to be um, is very truthful in what I think about books and stories um, on my channel because I want to keep it 100. So not 100, 100. And this story, I don't know what WTF, what in the world was going on? I point blank period, I didn't understand. Um, it was very incoherent. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it, it was, I don't I'm just like okay i just finished reading the short story climbers um so this one is about peter dingstrar i hope i'm pronouncing that right and he's like an author um he's like a writer and he's basically in this hotel and that's what i can kind of guess from this this seems to have a link to a um to the other story so it seems like as though they're slightly linking together my main issue previous to the last one like first off well this one went incredibly long i just felt like it just kept telling things to the reader and i don't know if it's just me but i don't not getting like some sort of coherency about the store like and as an individual story itself it just it seems incoherent and it's one of those things where it's like is it me that's not understanding what's going on um yeah so i don't know if i got it i just finished reading the short story improv improvisations is the heart of music um i didn't like this one either <laughs> so this one it was so weird it's about edward and maria and they're a they're um they're a couple in on a honeymoon and i think what i am not enjoying about like even these past few stories um it's just it seems what's the word i'm looking for it seems just to go like there's no i don't know maybe i'm just not understanding it or like i'm not smart enough i that's what i might i think it might be but it seems to be like meandering just like it just it just brings up stuff and it's just for me there's no no cohesion and i do enjoy these different type of writing these different type of storytelling these not your traditional narrative but i think it's just it's just all over the place for me right now all right i just finished reading the famous um last words uh okay so this one wasn't as confusing as the other ones but it was still i don't i don't i don't know man so this one is about um an author and then this person which is classified as x so it has like math in it but and then it talks about like voltaire and like the death of authors and whatnot it was switched to this thing with like is x a woman a a man but then it it was so confusing and i was like wait what is going on and then like it had math in the middle of it i just i yeah i all right, I just finished reading The French Style of Mademoiselle Matsumoto. Um, this one was okay. This one was actually a little bit um, more streamlined than the previous uh, stories. It did linger off a little bit. And I think that's what I'm having the issue with the uh, short stories. So this one is about um, Morphage. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. And um, it's also talking about um, Matsumoto, who is a pianist. Um, and that's basically it and she plays a uh, chopin for me the one thing that's really standing out is like these stories start off very coherent and then at some point it just like get mishmash in the middle and i just finished reading the short story some luck this involves a band uh with keith darren and stewart and it's basically them being a band and then it leads into this direction of um like poker and the like probability of poker oh okay all right so first off the music part i thought that was you know pretty okay and then the part where she infuses like sound and like onomatopoeias to try to well not onomatopoeias but like sounds to emit like music i was like okay i can see where this is going but the part where they're playing poker it's low-key boring because i was just like I'm not first off I'm not really into poker like that but also describing poker in the way that it wasn't good because it just was like 
it told you the hands of them and then like the folding and whatnot and like putting it i just was like i don't think this is working but yeah and then it had no like i yeah it and yeah yeah all right i just finished reading in which nick buys a harley for 16k having once been born young <sighs> So this one is about um, Nick, who is in a band, and it has, I think it has relations to the previous short story, and then he basically buys a Harley, and it talks about, like, stardom, and, like, you know, about making money and whatnot. Um, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. Alright, I just finished reading the short story on here called Trevor. Um... Yeah, this is about uh, Trevor and his um, partner uh, Lily, and it's basically about like uh, his house and whatnot, and about her being an American and him te like. It's a little bit of background about um, how he got the house. I'm gonna be so honest with y'all; it is very forgettable. This story, I'm gonna forget it within the next short story that I'm going to read because I don't, I don't know. It's just like. I have no excitement about the story at all. Anything, the good thing about um, some of this is like, I could just tell that DeWitt has this imagination that I, especially with some of the stories that I think I'm just not understanding or like personally me, I don't think I'm grooving along with it. All right, I just finished reading the short story Patinga. Um, it's, yeah, it's about Patinga. And she, it starts off really about like cameras, which you know, I, love but then it just doesn't go anywhere <laughs> like it talks about different things about these like random people i don't really know that much about them and then at the end it's just like okay that was it like i y'all i'm not liking this i'm not liking this collection at all luckily i only have one short story left so yeah there's that all right i finished the last short story on here called entourage um it's about like language well it starts off about well yeah it's about language and like a different type of languages things like that i didn't like it so i have a headache um yeah i'll i'll do this tomorrow and let you guys know overall what i think about their collection but as you can guess i'm not that enthusiastic about it so right so i thought i would give you guys my final thoughts on some trick by helen dewitt uh yeah so overall um i really didn't like this i think this is my least favorite short story collection that i read so far um this year um there is one short story on here that i thought i was like oh this is this is fantastic i think that's what the height of this short story collection is because i thought it was funny smart and just like very humorous and it was fun to read and i just you know if you saw that clip i laughed so that was my favorite one but after that all the other ones are mm, not really that great i can just see it that she is a very smart person and the way her imagination works especially when with some of these stories i can tell that it's she's very imaginative i can see that she has a plethora of just ideas and i can see that i think where this falls flat for me is just a lot of the execution with the stories because first off it seems to meander a lot and there's no like follow through or like just a path that um the stories f go and this reminds me a lot of i've read this um full novel called Flights by Olga Tokarczuk and that is that was like a meandering type of novel where it just had like a whole bunch of random stuff but it made sense in a way that while I didn't comprehend everything it still had this finesse to it it had this follow through that I was like oh my god this is this is such a like a great puzzly type of book so while I do enjoy like the science and the math parts of this it just it felt flat for me. Yeah, that was it. Um, if you, I don't have that much to say because I, I, I didn't quite like it. So if you read this novel, let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, I really do. Even if you love it and while well, I didn't like it, I would love to hear your thoughts. Until then, I'll see you guys. Uh, Till next time. Bye, dumb kids. <laughs> At the end of these videos, I always let you guys know the next uh, short story collection that I'm reading, and that's The Refugees by Viet Thuan Nguyen. I actually just recently purchased his um, full-on novel, The Sympathizer, so I was like, sure, why not? Like, I'll read his uh, short story collection. So, see you on the next video.